It is now August 3rd. I just woke up and it's kind of chilly out here. I put on one of Joe's shirts and now I'm like, ooh, I need sweatpants. It's like, I don't know what the deal is with our air conditioning, but I feel like it doesn't work 100% properly in our bedroom because like when I open the, we sleep with the door closed. Not like it really matters, but it's like the, the door is right in front of our bed. So it's a little bit creepy, but when I open the door, I can feel how much colder it is out there than in here. And we sleep with the fan on our little fan. So it just doesn't make any sense. Joe said that the vent is open. It's like hidden back there, but I don't, I don't know why it's so dumb. But what I wanted to show you is the covers <laughs> because this is like, this is such an accurate representation of like the sleeping situation. So, look, the comforter doesn't even touch the edge of Joe's side. Joe's always like hot at night, so he sleeps like, if he sleeps with the covers on it's like up to here but usually he has like the sheet and then the comforter like kind of flumped down and then he leaves really in the morning really early in the morning for work like today he left before 5 30 I think so after he leaves I grab his pillow and cuddle up next to it and then like scrunch up all of the all of the covers around me and then it's like a hot mess this comforter i really like it like it's really cute and it's warm but it's a little bit smaller than ones that i'm used to like it's not as wide so it doesn't drape over the bed as much so it's really cute but if you're really worried about that, then it is kind of annoying. I'm glad we do have some color in our bedroom though and I didn't just go with like a white comforter just cause that's, I don't know. I mean, I think it would have been fine. We have enough like different tones, but it's so pretty, this like light blue. It's like so not showing up the right color because the only light I have on is that like yellow lamp. But yeah, I want to make coffee really bad, but this is TMI, but I have like a really bad, I guess it might not be really bad. But like UTI or like bladder infection that came out of uh, nowhere. And I took antibiotics for it. Is it raining? Oh no, it's an airplane. And it came back. So I want a second round of antibiotics and they're huge pills. But when you have like a bladder infection, you're not supposed to drink coffee or anything that's gonna irritate it. And I just want coffee so bad. It's just such a struggle. And like my head's been so jacked up. Like I have like just a pain right here. Luckily, the pain in my neck has pretty much gone away, but my head still hurts. That's why I want coffee, because it usually helps. Maybe I'll just make iced coffee and, like, have a little bit and save the rest for Joe. That's the scam. While we're talking, last night, Joe and I had Lindsay and Zach over, and... Oh, dang it. Do we have enough ice? Mm. I invited them over because we were trying a new recipe. It was crock pot, uh, like shredded barbecue chicken. And I knew that it was gonna make a ton, so I didn't just want Joe and I to have to eat it for like the rest of the week. And that was really fun. We had the barbecue, um, corn, Annie's mac and cheese, coleslaw, which wasn't my favorite. It was just like the pre-made Walmart kind. Not my fave. Uh, we had the barbecue on like the King's Hawaiian rolls. That was really good. 
well, the Walmart brand, the same diff. And Lindsay brought over like one of those steamable bags of uh, green beans. So it was, it was, it was really good and it was a super, super easy recipe. I mean, you just throw the stuff in the crock pot and it, it does all the magic. So I'm loving it. I'm loving the crock pot deal. My coffee is about to be done. I think I'm going to drink that and have a banana and watch part two of Shane's documentary. Not documentary, series. Kind of a Jeffree Star documentary. I'm obsessed. I love I've loved Shane Dawson for so long. His videos are just so interesting and creative. So you gotta let me know what you think about, about his uh, series that he's putting out. I can't wait for like the juicier ones to come out. Maybe that'll be today. I hope we're not gonna have to wait like over the weekend. I recently saw an email from my apartment complex saying that our water is shut off. <sighs> this has happened like three times now where they've said they're doing maintenance or trying to fix a broken pipe or whatever and the water's going to be off. And, you know, for most people who have like a normal job and they're gone from 9 to 5, it's not a big deal. But for me, I'm home all the time, so what am I supposed to do? Like, we have two toilets, <laughs> and you can, you can like flush the toilet because it's already filled up, but like it won't fill back up if you flush it. So I'm like, all right, I have two bathrooms, so I can go to the bathroom like twice, maybe three times. But, like, I was thinking, oh, well, I'm, while I'm, like, trapped here, maybe I could film a video. Well, I can't wash my face because the water's off. So now I'm like, what do I do? The last time they, they said that the water was getting turned off for maintenance, I just went home because I couldn't deal with it. Like, I can't be here if the water's not on. Like, I can't do any dishes, I can't wash clothes. It's like, I can't do anything. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. You guys, I can't even begin to explain. Well, I mean, I can. I am going to begin to explain how irritated I am right now. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you're a business that fails to um, be professional and respond to customer emails, I will not stop until I get a response and I will be savage about it. So, Here's the situation. I go to the European Wax Center to get waxed. My waxer is incredible. She's was recognized as being one of the top waxers in the country. She is just fantastic. And the owners of the wax center, I don't know if it's like specifically the one that she works at or what it was, decided to cut her pay so she would be losing like a lot of money. So she has decided to quit and move to a different place that would actually like value her being such an amazing uh, employee. But the issue was that was with like the wax pass. So you can buy a like prepaid wax pass 
So they were having a deal where if you bought nine services, you got uh, three free. So I get the Brazilian. So that's, it's like 50, I think 50-ish. Um, so I think it was about $460 or something like that, like a lot of money. So you pay it then, and then through the whole year, your waxes are like prepaid, so you don't have to worry about it throughout the year. So, if you have a membership or a wax pass that you want to cancel, and it's been over 30 days since you purchased it, you have to pay a $25 cancellation fee, but they give you the rest of your money back. But, if it's within 30 days of purchasing it, you they basically just like bill you for the services that you got so like you pay full price for the ones that you got but you get refunded for everything else or whatever which makes sense so my my last appointment when she told me she was leaving was july 11th and luckily it was within that 30 days i had purchased my pass I guess the time before or something like that where it was I think I purchased it June 13th so it was within that 30 days within a month so I went immediately home and submitted the cancellation form you basically just enter in in basic information like um why you want to cancel and blah blah whatever so I got an email saying that someone would contact me within one to three business days to talk about it and to basically cancel the membership. So I kind of forgot about it, just expecting, you know, someone to contact me. Well, like about two weeks go by and I have this realization, I think, when I was in the shower and I was like, you know what? No one has contacted me. This is really bizarre. So on July 27th, I emailed them and was like, hey, I submitted this form and no one's contacted me. What is going on? And they forwarded it to like the management of the exact location that I go to. Never heard anything. So then a few days later, on July 31st, I emailed my location directly you can go on their website and say like it's like who do you want to contact and you can go to your exact one and send them a message emailed them directly and was like it's been like three weeks why has someone not reached out to me and so today it's august 3rd so August 31st was, uh, let's see, I mean, July 31st was Tuesday. Yeah, so this is like the third business day, and I know I'm not going to hear anything, so I emailed them again, and I emailed a different email. I think it was like guest relations or guest services or something like that, and I detailed it all like all the emails that I've sent and I attached a screenshot of the email that I received directly after I submitted the cancellation form that says like we're sorry to see you go um someone will contact you to talk about your cancellation and it has the date right up in the top so at this point I'm just like don't you even try to come at me and say, oh, it's been more than 30 days. And I'm going to be like, bitch, no, <laughs> no, you are, uh, 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 don't even play with me like that. And that's why I took that screenshot because I've heard people say that like when scammy things happen, sometimes like the email disappears out of nowhere, but it's like, I've got proof. I have documented it. And it's just, I mean, it makes me glad that I'm, like, leaving there now because now I know that their, like, customer service is horrible. I don't know why it's taken me 
four times. I mean, I haven't even heard anything from anyone. I might, I mean, I don't know. I'm just so annoyed. It's just unacceptable. It shouldn't take me this long to be contacted by a business. Like, this is your business. You're supposed to be professional. I shouldn't have to work this hard to get my money back when that is a service that you offer or like an option for people. I'm just, this happens just so many times. Like, it's ridiculous. I also went through something with my school system where there was a whole week that I didn't get paid for. And I'm like, um, what? And it was just this big back and forth that took a month. And I'm like, why am I the one working this hard? I didn't do anything wrong. But it took like a million emails and oh, well, it looks like you should have gotten paid or my records say something different. And I'm like, well, my bank account says otherwise. So get me my money. Ugh. I'm like, these type of things drive me nuts. Absolutely crazy. Like now you see why I have so much anxiety and I'm stressed because I deal with shit like this all the time. It just attracts itself to me I'm like why am I the chosen one I don't want to be <laughs> I don't want to be the chosen one it sucks I'm jumping in here it's August 9th but I thought I would put this little clip in after my European wax center rant because it's relevant like I said it's August 9th I'm about to call them to talk about the situation I got an email two days ago from someone saying like we're sorry no one's contacted you I forwarded your message to that center's manager I mean it's been two full days and I still haven't heard anything big shock so oh I'm just so anxious like I hate I hate doing this because if they try to tell me that I'm gonna have to pay that $25, I'm gonna be like, um, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not happening. Like I am, guys, I'm sweating. Hi, my name is Rachel Capius. I would just like to cancel my wax pass. Yeah, I actually submitted the cancellation form online about a month ago and I've emailed three times already and no one's contacted me, so. So I wanted to call directly, but okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. They can't even do anything about it at the location. Why and how? Oh my God, I can't. And like the manager there at the location that I go to um, just put in her two weeks notice because she didn't want to work <clears throat> for a company that basically like cut all their workers pay and so yeah but they said that she's on vacation so she's gonna send it to like the manager in charge like the upper manager or whatever I'm like great I'm really never gonna hear about this. <laughs> Ugh. All right, it is much later. It's 5.32 and Joe and I are out here looking cute. We're going to Food Truck Friday with Lindsay and my sisters. So we're just waiting on them. And then we're going to go to a baseball game. This is so up my alley, right? Uh, the baseball game? No, not really. <laughs> that was a joke. Can I, should I move my hand? No. What you think? Mm, good. Is it spicy? Nini always talks so bad about goat cheese. Not that bad. <laughs> Shrimp, tacos, Greek fries. Yum. Yeah. 
Cuties. Oh, there's lots. Lots of stuff for that, too. The baseball player is a point. I joined the other line at the bar. Everyone's got theirs. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> Park. I don't even know if you can hear me because there's loud music in the background, but it's so pretty. They changed the lights on the waterfall and it's like you get a good like skyline view, so it's so pretty. Oh. Sorry. Oh my god, you look like really scary, Joe. <laughs> yes. Get off my lawn! <laughs> I'm scared. And I'm sure you can tell what building is the cake. That one. Yeah. This isn't real. <laughs> no, it feels fake. It's perfect. It's right. The most perfect number for me. Family. Hey, honey, how was your day? Oh, yikes. I'm scared. Thank you. 
So obviously the next morning, I never finished or like closed out the vlog last night, so we'll just continue it for right now. So it's uh, 11.50 and uh, we're having breakfast because we didn't wake up until like 10.30 I think. We got, we got home late-ish and went to bed at like, I think like 12.30 or something like that. So, makes sense, but still, I was a little bit mixed shook when I saw that it was 10.30. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm. If we had some blueberries, that would be good too. Mm -hmm. Well, tell them about what we've been watching. Oh, so we've been watching Safe. It's a Netflix original series. There's one season on it. It's with the dude from Dexter. Um, it was really good. We're on episode six of eight. So we're almost done. Yeah, so the premise is that they, there's these kids, they go to a party. They're like high school age, but it's set in the UK, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and like a kid dies and her his yeah his girlfriend goes missing and there's like all of these crazy side side plots that's like everyone has so much drama so they're trying to figure out what happened to the one kid and where the girl is it's quite a bit later now i'm about to head to joe's house he went over there to work out and um we're going to go to the mall with his sister. His sister needed to go to the Apple store, so we were just going to go to the mall with her. Um, yeah, it's like 5 o'clock right now. And I'm trying to find my Converse, and I have no idea where they are. It's not like they could have gotten lost. I'm just thinking if like, I even have them here. I'll just wear these but that's really peculiar I thought I would let you know that Joe and I did finish safe we only had like two episodes left it's a short series uh, it's just one season and there's eight episodes they're each 50 minutes so it's eight hours but I mean that's you could watch the whole thing in one day if you <laughs> really wanted to we did it over like two days but uh yeah, it was really good. The ending was very interesting. Like, there were a lot of different twists. But, like, I I figured it out or had, like, a hunch about who did it. Maybe, like, the second to last episode. I was like, hmm, what if it was this person? What if this is what happened? And it ended up being that. But we had a lot of theories about who it could have been. So I would highly, highly recommend it. It's not something that's like huge. It's going to take you a while. Like I know um, I've watched Friends and The Office, which obviously have a ton of episodes. And I just, I find it so hard to get into those types of shows. Like people have recommended like Parks and Rec or Grey's Anatomy. But there's just too many episodes to start that like that would take way too long so I would highly recommend checking out safe if you need a Netflix recommendation but I'm gonna go so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and you've been enjoying the frequent vlogs I really like doing them and I also like like looking back up at them so it's interesting but yeah hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video bye everyone